I'm doing awesome. Thank you guys for having me. This is an honor, really. Oh, no. We're super excited. And I was excited when I saw you, too. Cause I was, yeah. Oh, you know, thanks. You never really know if someone's going to look quite as good as they look as on the gram. As they do in the pictures, She looks right? yeah. even better. Yeah. So kind. Thank you. Yeah, she's winning me over for so many reasons. I've, I've been honestly, like, oh my God. kind of sneaking looks while she's been walking around. Like, okay, don't, really? don't look honestly, too hard. Don't look too hard. Same, though. Oh, you got to think for you. her. Oh, absolutely. I do. Oh, that's quite convenient. <laughs> we just skip the podcast <laughs> and uh, get on to you, the good you know. stuff. <laughs> I think about that all the time, but then I'm like, no. Do the podcast. Sit Good there. Promotion. Practice self control. Let the blood rush into your penis throughout yeah. the course of the interview, and then you can get nice into build it. up. Yeah. yeah, not to give away the ending or anything to them. I don't want. If wanna... you guys didn't know, we do have sex at the end. Wait, come on. Crazy. You're to tell them that. It's been almost two years we've been doing this. If they haven't figured it out, well, I still feel like it's supposed to be a surprise. Dun, um, dun, dun. Okay. So, tell us a little bit about where you're from. Yeah, I'm born and raised Tampa, Florida. Okay. Uh, so I've been there for a long time. I actually moved to Oklahoma, though, a few years ago. I moved there for the medical marijuana industry. Really? Yeah. My boyfriend has a medical marijuana company out there. So we have everything with flour, tinctures, edibles. Shout out Chef Joey's and Delta Oil Company. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. So were you doing uh, weed business when you were in Florida as well? Or? No. So this was a totally new thing. Oklahoma really allows people to get into the industry quite easy. So it's allowed us to be in other states as well. So you can really go out there and not have any experience and then build it from the ground up. You can have 1500 bucks and open up a dispensary. Oh, wow. wow. It is Oklahoma. <laughs> so, but In what way? Uh, it's Oklahoma. Did you ever really think about Oklahoma until like this conversation? Not it's, as much. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, don't get me wrong, but you know, not a lot of things out there. It's not LA. It's not New York. Not so were, Florida. You, were you driven into the weed industry because you were already a big pothead or is this strictly a business play? Strictly a business play. Yeah. Um, a gentleman who's actually my boyfriend now, um, I used to work for him in the restaurant industry. And he got out of the restaurant industry, sold his restaurants. A couple years later, right after when COVID was kind of still hot, but ending, he called me up. He's like, hey, how do you feel about medical marijuana? I was like, I love it. And he's like, well, how do you feel about Oklahoma? And I was like, uh, <laughs> never thought about it before. Mm -hmm. But uh, I sat down, did the numbers. My dad with, went with me to like a lunch and we looked at everything. He was like, and he's been in sales for years. And that's what I did in the company. And he was like, honestly, this looks legit. You should do it. And I have your full support. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. But wait, how, how are you working in the uh, the the restaurant business? Yeah, What's so I was a hostess and a server for a long time. Did a little bartending too. What restaurant? Oh, uh, Grill Fifty Four, um, Nabruzzi Trattoria. Um, so many restaurants. Marlo's Tavern. I did restaurant industry right after high school. I never ended up okay. going to college. So. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. but were you a stripper at some point as well? Yes, I started stripping when I was 20. Okay, mm -hmm. and so you were doing the I restaurant so thing jobs. and stripping? Yes, I was. So um, at the time, I was making decent money, but um, one of the cooks, actually, she was a female in the back. She was like, have you ever thought about working at Penthouse? Pretty popular club in Tampa, Florida. Okay. And I was like, not really. She's like, you should serve. You would do so good. Went in there. Um, I was actually getting hired at a restaurant as well that day. So I went into Penthouse Club as well. And I was like, yeah, I want to serve here. And the manager was like, okay, just so you know, you're probably going to be here for like a week and want to strip, but <laughs> go for it. Be, be, you know, a server. That's just their, ex you? That's their like, experience. Oh, no. No. Yeah. That's just their experience is that every girl who comes in there eventually ends up stripping. Pretty much. But I liked it because it was a nice little intro. I was able to check everything out and be like, okay, this is how these girls do it. But I saw girls making, you know, 500 plus and I'm like, oh, I'm sold. Let's make that money. Okay. Did you last as a server for a week or did you go straight? A week. One yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. One week. So I was sold after that. Um, Worked in Tampa, Florida for quite a while. And then I had a girlfriend who was like, hey, you're really great at this. I would highly recommend going to Vegas. It's a different ball game. The money is crazy there and you can handle it. I have a girlfriend that lives out there. You should go try it out. Went out there and went out there for like March Madness and a couple of other conventions and crazy money. Really? It's, yeah. How much are you talking? $30,000 months. Wow. wow. Yeah. I'm actually going out there in November this year for uh, Formula One, and that's going to be stupid money. Really? Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so you just Damn. get to go to the club and say, like, I'm here for just this amount of time. Can I dance for you guys Since and yeah. not work there permanently? Oh, yeah. That's all pretty much all strip clubs. You can work when you want. Yeah. Okay. So you have a fee that you pay when you walk in the door, and uh, yeah. They don't tell you when you can work or not work or anything like that. You just have to not get fired, not break the rules. Correct. Don't be a drunken idiot. 
Don't be doing super naughty things in the club. You know, right. is that, that ever an stuff. issue? You, you've seen girls get caught up for that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Frequently? It's, uh, yeah, absolutely. For I mean, money you or can just because get... the guy was so hot? <laughs> <laughs> um, <on>. Money. <laughs> money for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's a crazy industry. And you got to be careful too. knock on wood. I've never had any issues. I've been very blessed. Nothing crazy has ever happened to me. But it's a crazy industry. So but, you got to watch your back and be careful. Yeah, what's the biggest stuff you have to worry about if you're going to get into that world? Definitely getting like roofied. And by oh, the wow. way, that happens to men too. Girls in the strip club will do that to men. So watch your back as well. But like Jeez. logistically, how does that work? Because once you have like a drugged, passed out guy, if you're a girl, what are you going to do? Just take his wallet? Yeah, I'm sure they've perfected it to just get you the right amount to where you're like, okay, let's go spend $10,000. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, I'm okay. sure they've perfected it. Oh my well, God. I always kind of wonder that about dudes doing it to girls too. Like, right. don't they just pass out? And then like, what do you lifeless? do with this, this corpse? Like, I don't know. Yeah, Sounds I don't know. Crazy. I've, again, knock on wood, never happened to me. Okay. But um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. So you ever been tempted to do anything explicit in the strip club? Or is yeah, it I'd ever... be lying if I said I hadn't. <laughs> okay. Give, give, come on, tell us. What happened? All right. So I've done it one time. And it was a guy who was like really, really hot. And uh, he was <laughs> getting married. <laughs> And he was like, this is my one last shot. But he said his wife did give him permission. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, right. I've never done this before. Yeah, like, I don't buy that either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope. <laughs> That's what he said. So I was like, you know, I'd never done that before. And I was like, because oh, you can get fired. Like, it's bad. Like, yeah. you're not. it's illegal. You're not supposed to do that. But he was so hot. And he was like, you know, I'll give you a lot of money. And I was like, you can't. <laughs> Wow. So what, where did you guys go? What did you guys do? Private room. Okay. Private room in the club. Super private. Closed door. And they don't have cameras in there? No, not that okay. club. They're supposed to, but they never work. Because we went to a private room once, and I feel like I got in trouble for grabbing a titty. Yep. Every club's a little bit different. Sometimes the cameras work. Sometimes they yeah. don't. <laughs> really? So you were able to just actually duck off and have a good time for how long? Uh, it was so you, he rented an hour with me, and uh, I just gave him some head. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's beautiful i was too nervous to do anything else to be honest <laughs> definitely 